Granioclasts are forceps like surgical instruments designed to extract the body of a dead foetus following an unsuccessful delivery. Although similar ideas have been discussed in ancient Greek, Roman, and Arabic texts, Granioclasts were invented in the mid-19th century when difficult births often resulted in the death of both mother and foetus. For example, if the foetus were too large to pass through the mother's pelvis, they would die in the womb, creating a huge risk of infection to the mother. Prior to the invention of cranioclasts, surgeons had few methods of removing oversized foetuses, often resorting to painstakingly meticulous dissection and removal by hand. The introduction of cranioclasts meant that doctors could reduce the size of the foetus's head and extract its body in a controlled way, leading to a large reduction in the mortality rate of childbirth. However, the use of cranioclasts remained controversial because they intervened in the natural process of birthing in such a drastically destructive manner. The cranioclast on display was made during the 1880s and probably used in the decades after when caesarean sections were not widely available because of the high mortality rate following surgeries. It was lightly supplied by John Millican Jr. who ran a surgical instruments shop on St Thomas's Street. His father, John Millican Sr., had supplied similar equipment to medical practitioners and students to St Thomas's Hospital from his workshop at the site of this museum.